Okay guys, so here is the Atwood machine. It it's, uh, utilizes one of the simple machines. It's just a pulley with a string, and we have two weights on either end of the string. Uh, we have a heavier weight, which is down here right now, resting on this stool, and a lighter weight. This machine has a 50 gram, we call that M1, mass M1, and a 40 gram up here. That's mass M2. Now, when we do this experiment, we would have this resting on the floor instead of on the stool because we like to start this with a full one meter of height difference between the bottom of M1 and the bottom of M2. I have it on the stool raised up just so you can see it on the video uh, better. And I can't get a full meter, but if I had it on the floor, you could. So when you get the raw data, you'll see that the given height difference is 100 centimeters. But all we would do in lab is, here's a trusty old stopwatch, I would just exchange these two so that the lighter mass starts right on the ground. In this case, it's the stool. So that means I have, again, 100, uh, well, if I was doing it with the floor, 100 centimeters of height difference. And then we simply time how long it takes when I release the pulley for that heavier weight to hit the ground, or in this case, the stool. So when you get your raw data, you'll have three times, because we would do this three times in lab because of timing error or any other uncertainties. Um, you'll be given three raw times, you'll take an average time, and knowing that average time and that height difference of 100 centimeters, which you'll be given, uh, we can then do the analysis, lots of analysis, using both force and acceleration, Newton's second law, but also an energy analysis. Now, you'll be given data for the 40 gram, 50 gram machine. You'll also be given data for a 90, 100 gram machine. Okay, the 90, 100 gram machine, notice it's still 10 grams of difference between the two sides. Uh, let me just see if I can get this set up for you. I'm going off script now. Yep, you can see that I'm definitely going off script. Okay, so here's the 90. But I want to show you something experimentally you would see if you were doing this lab. And I'll replace this guy with the 100. So I still have 10 grams of difference, right? Do you think it's going to take the same time for these two objects to exchange positions? Okay. Um, and I think you'll see, now I don't have the exact same height difference because the cylinders are different height, but I just want to show you that I think you can see in the video that that's definitely slower, okay? And that is confirmed experimentally. Um, so you'll be given data for 40, 50 gram machine, uh, the uh, 90, 100 gram machine, and the one, uh, 190, 200 gram machine. Okay, just so you can do some calculations using both force acceleration and conservation of energy. Uh, but we'll go through the analysis in the video, and then you can complete the worksheet. Bye-bye.